How's it going everyone? Kellen Rec here, and today we're going to do a very quick tutorial from the Lil Baby Woe video that came out just last week. And there's a little bit of a glitch effect that's used in this video that looks pretty cool and it's really easy to duplicate, so I'm going to show you right here. So the effect is really, really easy to replicate, and all it is is just a couple frames that are being adjusted and going with the glitch sound that comes with a lot of these trap beats. So for this example, I took two shots from the Lil Baby video. We've got this shot here, which is just cars wrapping around Lil Baby as he dances. Then we have another shot of some kids dancing. And we want to create that transition effect right here between these two shots. And what I'm going to do is actually use a different song so that you can see how this might work for really any song that you're using. Ideally, it would be a song in the trap genre or something that has kind of that glitchy sound to it so that the cuts feel like they're part of it and it makes a lot of sense. So I've taken a part of this song here. So you can hear within that there's that little sort of quick glitchy sounding effect. And that's where we're going to make our cuts. Now, if I go into the actual playback, you can see that that part is happening right here. So if we listen, you hear that quick sound there. So that's where we're going to make our cut. So the first thing that I want to do is hear where that sound first hits. And it's this part of the waveform here. So what I'm going to do is just make a mark, click on my audio file, hit M, so I know where it starts. That's where we want our cuts to begin. So what I want to have happen is I want the first part of the second shot to come in right on that mark. And it's going to go all the way until this beat drop here. So we want to make sure that our set, our original shot ends there. So I'm just going to drag that out here. And the transition will take place in this entire chunk right here. Now, all you need to do to get that look from the Lil Baby video is just literally press C to create a cut marker. And you're going to cut every frame, one frame at a time. And then all you have to do is delete every other frame so that you're seeing each of these shots one frame at a time and it looks like it's glitching. So I'll just click here. Delete every other, and then when the beat drops, it's going to end on the shot we want. So if we watch it back, here's what we have. And it perfectly cuts right on that glitchy sound effect, creating its own glitch effect. So again, this is a super easy tutorial, but you're going to see it in the Lil Baby video, and you'll see how it's actually used. And it looks really cool because it goes with the beat. So this is exactly how you do it. it takes no time to do it all. Really, really easy and is a great effect that's used in professional music videos like this. So go ahead and give it a shot. If you liked it, please like the video down below. Subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And we'll definitely check you back in the next one. So thanks for watching, guys.